Support Wrestle Talk. Give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. For many wrestling fans, the best match of 2017 award was won just four days into January. With Kazuchika Okada versus Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 11 not just being hailed by some as the match of the year, but also the greatest wrestling match of all time. The sport's most respected journalist, Dave Meltzer, certainly thought so, infamously rating Omega vs. Okada at six stars. Which is impressive because his ranking system only goes up to five. So what happens when their second encounter at last Sunday's Dominion show is even better? Meltzer's eagerly anticipated review of Omega vs. Okada 2 has been revealed in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter at six and a quarter stars, where he wrote, a Carter vs Omega basically broke the bank on superlatives. If the first match was one of the few six star matches in history, this may have been the first Milky Way Galaxy match. I for one can't wait for the first multiverse encounter, where the top star of New Japan must face Universal Champion Brock Lesnar! Just as a disclaimer, because some people like to give Meltzer a hard time, these star ratings are his personal opinions. Not the be all and end all of objective wrestling quality, it's one match with an extraordinary passion for and knowledge of the medium, giving his very informed grading. Not some secret board of smart, shadowy figures. The star ratings Meltzer puts out are subjective, and he makes no attempt to hide that. So if you disagree, that's great! Start a debate! But attacking the concept of the rating system is as redundant and ultimately futile as getting angry at movie posters for having five out of five stars emblazoned across the top. Equally futile is hoping for genuinely hot go-home episodes to pay-per-views in WWE. This week's Smackdown averaged just 2.07 million viewers, its lowest in 2017 so far, ahead of the Money in the Bank show on Sunday. This is down over 300,000 viewers from the previous week. 53% of you though thought the show was very good, rating the episode at Smacktastic, while 37% agreed with me at Smack Bang in the Middle. After almost a year out from the company with her last televised match, being on the 27th of June Raw in 2016, Paige is reportedly close to returning from injury. It's a year out that's seen a myriad of controversies. Two wellness policy violations and consequent suspensions, a public disagreement with WWE over whether she required surgery or not, a movie being made about her life by Rock the Dwayne Johnson, and the sex tape hack. Paige herself has now posted on Twitter that she's training for her WWE comeback. And PW Insider are reporting that if everything goes well with her final medical scans, she could soon be cleared to return to the ring. There are currently two big mystery narratives running on Monday Night's Raw. Who is attacking Enzo and Big Cass? And who has dirt on general manager Kurt Angle? On a recent episode of Wrestling Observer Radio, Brian Alvarez brought up a fan theory speculating the two are connected. And it's actually Angle who's taking out Enzo and Cass backstage. To which Meltzer replied, then how do we get to Angle and Triple H? Confirming that's the planned direction on Raw. Because why let established wrestlers work with up and coming ones? Luke and I tried to answer another mystery from Raw in the brand new Wrestle Ramble. What is Roman Reigns' big SummerSlam announcement? And find out how the big dog has been shooting down fans on Twitter by clicking the videos to the left Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.